Okay. Now, as you can see, um, also up there, that's actually the the second the, the the first side wall up there. When we filled in here, some of the blocks up there filled in, which is good. It gives us a starting point. Now, we filled in this entire base wall here, which means this blueprint is done. You can pick it up now or leave it and pick it up when you finish all the walls. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. But since I'm here, I'll grab it. Now we're going to fill in this other base wall over here, and that'll complete the the two sides for that quadrant uh, on the base. And then we can work on the side walls. Now, in theory, you don't actually need to do these base walls in order to completely seal this off for light, in theory. But in reality, uh, if you don't, there is some leakage right here at these points, which can cause the spawns to not trigger properly. And since the idea is to get the entire spawner working, just spend a few extra minutes and do this. <coughs> and right here we're coming up on... Well, let me use that up. Right here we're coming up on a seam again. And you'll see the same thing that we did over there. See? So, out we go. And up. Now, this part is a little bit uh, finicky. This is the part I want to actually show you um, what it is you're trying to accomplish here. And then I'm just going to... I'm going to skip all the rest of the stuff. I'm not going to make you watch filling in this whole thing. Okay. Now, the idea here is to get your your wall up as high as you can. Because when you go up to the next level to fill downward, you want to be able to reach it. And again, I'll show you here what I mean in just a sec. So we want to get this up as high as we can. And that means we got to fiddle with it a little bit. That's okay. And you'll notice that some of these blocks down here don't fill in doing it this way. That's okay. You'll deal with that later. There. That'll do it. Alright. So, back to the ladder. Try this again. Now you'll be able to see what it was I was talking about. Crouch. And we can reach that one over there. Now we can just barely reach these. Now the idea is to fill in all that stuff down there. Don't worry about how high up here it goes. Now we got something to work with. Just aim for the side a little bit. There, see, it'll fill in part of this, and that's good. You don't really care about that. Because you want to fill in down here without having to jump down on the wall and constantly up and down and back and forth and messing with the irregularities. Trust me, it's a lot easier this way. Now, you'll see here, you've got a similar setup to what you had uh, down below. You can barely reach the stuff up there. Again, you want that to go as high up as you can so that you can do what you just did here. Now, back down real quick. There's not usually all this back and forth. I do the entire floor at one time. I'm just kind of doing it like this to show you all the stuff at one time. Now, you see up there, it reaches all the way down. If you don't do it this way, you'll wind up with... Uh, bits and pieces here at the end that you have to go through and and pillar up to get to and all kinds of craziness it's just a lot easier that way to do it this way uh, so you fill up as high as you can and then after you've gone all the way around doing that then you come back through and the stuff that you missed down here it's easily reachable from down here without having to climb all over everything so you fill that in 
you do that top you do that part down there that that kind of reaches up here a little bit you do as far up there as you can then you do this section in here that's left over then you go up to the next flight you go up to the next floor and you repeat the process you you point down and you you fill up as high as you can and then fill in the middles again it'll make more sense if as you're doing it it's hard to explain without actually doing the whole process but that's a really long process i don't want to take you through now beyond that uh you fill in all the walls all the way across on each floor all the way up to the to the rooftop until you've got it all filled in and all your uh, blueprints show completed when you're done with that then you're ready to move on to the roof and that'll be the next video before we go onto the roof we have two things to address real quick uh, we finished all the walls everything is nice and enclosed except for the roof itself uh, the first thing is the gap which i covered on a previous video on how to take care of that so we're going to go address the seam now at the corners where the two where uh, two walls meet you can see this seam right here now again in theory this doesn't actually uh, affect anything uh, there's no blocks joining them over there in theory this won't affect anything but in reality i found that especially on a large build like this that seam will leak light so the best way to solve it is to go fill it in And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get over there. There, that right there. That little gap right there where the seam is, it just it leaks light. And that's just the way that's just the way it is. And there's nothing you can do about it except to seal it in. So we do essentially the same thing that we did earlier when we filled in the gap. Just pick whichever wall it is you want. Now these walls are oriented differently so no matter which one you pick it's not going to have a it's not going to have a seamless uh, uh, seal here it'll look different I'll show you hang on There we go. Now, you can just barely, you can see the difference here between this block and this block. No matter which way you orient it, you're going to have that. Just that's the nature of the build. Unless you're really, really OCD about how you build these things, just let it go. And it'll be more apparent with, uh, with other blocks than it is with this one. But honestly, you're never going to see this from the outside, so who cares just let it go okay here we are we've we've uh, put up all the walls we filled in all the seams and all the gaps now all that's left is to put the roof on as you can see I've got a couple of roofs uh, laid in over there already I saved these last two just to show you how to do it now uh, again use your ladder as your guide the easiest way to do this the easiest way to do this is to line it up like this. We're going to put our block right here and pillar up. Now, that is our guide right there. We take out this block and we put our blueprint our cornerstone in there and you'll see it fills in that gap right there all the way across now as you can see it takes a lot of blocks to fill this in I'm using the bedrock wall just because I think it looks good as a floor and a roof uh, it takes a lot of these so make sure you bring plenty of stuff to build with Now, since we laid that one, it already started the blueprint for us, and all we have to do is just fill it in. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the side here real quick. Now, you will notice 
when you finish filling everything in here there will be another gap running between this roof and the next roof same thing will happen when we get over here to that when we fill that one in over there again this is normal it's just it's because of the fact that you cannot fill in 64 by 64 on a on a blueprint You're restricted to 63 by 63 and the claim is 64 by 64 so you will always have that gap and all you have to do when you're done with everything else is just hit your R while focusing on that so that they're all aligned properly and just fill it in manually it'll just take you a couple minutes it's not that big a deal and um, down on the other end um, you notice I'm running north south when I, when I build this when you get to the other end you'll have another gap hang on I'll show you <coughs> and this one's actually uh, you kind of need this this other gap now here's where that gap will be you'll have a one block wide gap here again and again this is what you want and I'll show you why Ordinarily, I would complete this entire roof before moving on to this next part, but just in the interest of uh, speeding things along a little bit for you guys, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Go ahead and put another roof blueprint in. Now, again, ladder's your guide all the way down to here. We're going to do exactly what we did on the last one. We're going to put a block there and pillar up. And look at what we got. Look familiar? All you do is place your blueprint and look, it fills it in just like on the other one. And when you're done, boom. And it's already started for you. All you gotta do is, is start filling them in. And when you're done with the roof, you just remove that pillar that you made and fill in the, the gaps here. And the gaps here, it's, it'll be a really big plus sign looking gap fill all that in and you're good to go your roof is done and then you're ready to move on to putting in the trap platform and finishing this off and tuh, your spawner will be ready to go at that point so I'm gonna go fill all this stuff in I'm not gonna make you sit through this and when I'm done filling in the roof we'll start up another video on the on the platform <laughs> 